15. Samurai Chanpuru, Samurai Shamplu. This highly stylized martial arts masterpiece is the brainchild of director Watanabe Shinichiro, who rose to prominence after the success of his previous sci-fi series Cowboy Bebop. As Watanabe turned his attention from the future to Japan's feudal past, he revitalized the Chanbara genre with this story about three unlikely companions. A young woman named Fu searches for a samurai who smells like sunflowers, accompanied by her two bodyguards, the stiff samurai Jin and the cutthroat outlaw Mugen. In Samurai Champloo, the high drama and political tensions of the Edo era are contrasted with modern hip-hop influences, creating a truly unique aesthetic. The anime manages to balance multiple tones, being at once dark but funny, stylized yet gritty, both exhilarating and tragic. There really is nothing else like it. 14. Mugen no Hunin, Blade of the Immortal, 2019. There are actually two anime adaptations of the original Mugen no Hunin manga, so this is specifically looking at the newer 2019 version. The series protagonist, Manji, is an incredible swordsman who has been cursed with immortality. He vows to kill 1,000 evil men to atone for the good ones he has slain, and so that he might finally find peace and die. The art is minimalist in a way that feels reminiscent of many classic 90s anime, using muted color palettes and still frames to create a grim atmospheric style that reinforces the story's dark themes. 13. Sudarenjira, Muko Haden, Sword of the Stranger. Set during the Sengoku era, this film is one of the great Chanbara masterpieces of modern cinema. The fight scenes are absolutely gorgeous, as blood flies and bodies break in the thrill of combat, death is always a blade's length away from the characters. Since the main plot concerns a force of Chinese warriors in Japan, Sudarenjira, Mukan Haden is able to explore important narratives about Japan's relations with foreigners, using this theme to subvert expectations while adding depth to the story's feudal politics. 12. Hayuge Mano this underrated series is a brilliant examination of the small details of life usually overlooked about the Sengoku era. The major historical battles of the period are mere background details that seem far less important than the character dramas, many of which revolve around traditional Japanese tea ceremonies. While the series is a bit slow-paced compared to more action-oriented anime, their Hayuge Mano brings a perfect mix of humor, drama, cultural details, and nuanced ideas that ensures it always remains engaging. 11. Kurozuka there are a lot of great samurai anime out there, but few of them have katana-wielding vampires whose relationships span centuries into from the distant past into the present and beyond. This original twist on the iconic samurai story infuses the genre with sci-fi and horror elements, even as it maintains elements of a romance story. Supernatural elements are commonplace in anime of any setting, but the way Kurozuka spans multiple time periods and makes dramatic tonal shifts sets it apart from other series. 10. Samurai 7 Samurai 7, is, you guessed it, based on the film 7 Samurai, it is very similar to the film, it's set in a futuristic world that has just been through a war that has put it on the brink of extinction, villages and cities are being torn apart by bandits who were once samurai soldiers, however, these samurai have now merged with machines and have become weapons, it made the last spot on the list because while it may be a good show, it just has the same taste of something that has already existed, making it not that original. 9. Brave 10 Brave 10 is about two warriors who also have superpowers and the interesting rivals and friends they meet throughout their adventures. It's a perfect mixture between fun-filled fantasy and action-packed anime. There is a huge theme of balance in the show, on what it means to be good and bad, and how no one is just one or the other. The show manages to balance fun, action, and very real themes in the anime in a great way. 8. Saraya Gayu, House of Five Leaves this anime deserves to be on the list literally just because of its amazing artwork. The story is pretty similar to quite a few others, it follows Akitsu who is naive but brave and ends up learning that there is a lot more to being a samurai than just holding a sword and looking cool. However, the artwork is so wonderfully unique and beautiful that it is worth the watch. Besides, the story might sound repetitive but it's still excellent nonetheless. 7. Shigurui, Death Frenzy If you haven't guessed from the title, Shigurui is a story about darkness, death, and lots and lots of blood. It's incredibly violent, and a lot of the characters experience long moments of hopelessness. If all of that sounds good, then you'll be okay with that anime. It begins way back in 1629, in a tournament where students fight each other with actual swords, rather than wooden or bamboo swords. The story is about the first match that involves Fujiki Genosuk and Arako Sigan, and what happens after the fact, and their pasts and what led them to the place that they are in now. 6. Sengoku Basera, Samurai Kings 
This anime manages to combine superpowers and samurai swordsmanship all into one neat package. It's a nice mix of the modern and the old fashioned, which is what makes it such a good anime. The show follows the heroes of the show and their constant battles and struggles to battle their rivals, take down someone called the Demon King, and to take back the land that they feel belongs to them. 5. Basilisk, Koga Ninpacho, The Koga Ninja Scrolls This anime is perfect for fans of Romeo and Juliet. It's a beautiful love story told from the point of view of a prince and a princess from rivaling families who are falling in love. The rival families are from ninja clans, and the constant blood feud is pushing them over the edge. While they ask for a truce throughout the anime, it, of course, wouldn't be a true anime if not for the secret battles that happen between the two families. 4. Mushibujaya. In an alternate Japan, Mushi, which are giant insects, begin to attack people and essentially bring down the whole country. Because of that, there are warriors that are rounded up and sent to fight them. The story follows one of the samurai, Jinbei Tsukishima. He's a member of the city patrol, and he is the one who takes the place of his father, who cannot fight anymore. 3. Afro Samurai This show is set in a future version of Japan, and there is a legend that whoever holds the number one headband will have godlike powers. It's all very Thor-like. Whoever has number two can challenge number one, but anyone can challenge number two. Enter Afro Samurai. He is constantly fighting battles, which is okay considering he's a master samurai. He goes through the anime going up against his rivals, trying to defeat evil and becoming the best samurai in the world. So <laughs> Two. Gintama. A huge anime, Gintama is an anime that takes place in the feudal era of Japan. In this world, Japan has been taken over by aliens and the samurai have lost their powers. Our main character, Giniki is forced to go from job to job because of it. There are some amazing themes in the show that has to do with the government, rising up in rebellions, and of course, like every anime, power, friendship, and love in whatever form it comes in. It's a truly excellent show. One, Ruroni Kenshin, Samurai X. Our number one entry had to be what is arguably the most successful and famous samurai anime in the world. The story follows Kenshin Himura, an ex-assassin who is trying to find his way in life. He is a wandering swordsman, trying to protect the people in Japan instead of going back to his former life. He has seen that the world is bloodthirsty and thrives on violence, and he knows that it's wrong. There is a huge theme of personal peace and forgiveness. That's it for the video. What other anime you think should have made the list? Tell us in the comments below the like button. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.